Welcome to the Picking Nerds Top 10 Three Threes for Three. Today we're counting down. This this list was weird actually. Before even the yes. criteria, we usually do modern legacy and, and commander is the main commander. Influences. Those, and those are three influences. Usually we take more weight on legacy because legacy has the biggest care pool, has the most traditional form of play for magic. But three three suck. Apparently, this is really shallow. It was a shallow pool. We had the deep. top is good. The top of the list only... is still the top like four, five, six, seven. Yeah, uh, well, like, you, I mean, if you take six, out. If you take out um, commons, there's only like a hundred choices. Yeah, they weren't very I mean, good. There's no commons that are three, a three, very three. shallow pool. Um, we did what we could. The top is pretty had. good. The bottom, we had to actually take in. Standard. Top is actually sweet. We had top, to top all the top cards are really cool. A little bit standard, but we had to bring standard into consideration more. Mm-hmm. For, for the top, for the top, for the bottom, like half the list. <laughs> we don't want to honorably mention anything. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do a couple honorable mentions. And this, actually, the normal amount because yeah, we, we do wanna, five honorable mentions. We don't want to skimp you on content. Uh, Bogart Ram Gang is the first honorable mention. Yes, first honorable mention. Uh, Gruel Hybrid, Gruel Hybrid, Gruel Hybrid. Three, three. Haste, haste, haste wither. and Wither is the main abilities this card has. It's a very aggressive, fast creature. Um, I mean, just being triple hybrid is pretty sweet. I mean, that five color nonsense deck. You can play Cryptic Command with this. I mean, Filter Lands made that man, like you had Filter Lands, you had the Vivid Lands, and you had Reflecting Pool. So mana bases were just like perfect. Yeah, it was a weird, so weird, you pretty much do whatever you weird want. time and standard back then. Uh, what's so really... some modern play, sort of like zoo aggro? Was it yeah. ever a thing? Like, they like tried years to, ago. They, they tried to put that card in. That card just wasn't good enough for modern. Too expensive. Turns out three threes for three when you're playing Termogoyf, which is a five six for two, is it's just not comparable. Weird. Uh, number what's next? Uh, Sprouting Thrynax, another mm-hmm. honorable mention. A three 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 for three. Believe it or not, red, for black, Jund. Red, black, green. Or Viking for Jund. Uh, when it dies, make three saplings. This card's one one saplings. Saplings are always one ones. I'm sorry, I'll specify it. They're one ones. I think they're sa- actually they're green too. Yeah, they're green and they're always they're token creatures. These creatures as tokens. Yep. It was really good in standard. Uh, we don't even know that. It's really good in battle box. It's really good in battle box. That's true. You tell me you don't want to cascade into this off of Bloodbraid Elf? Oh, Come yeah. on. Who wouldn't want to do that? Come on. That sounds like. Come on. Yeah. But I There's not even too much to say about this. No. Not in the it's next one. pretty medium, you know? Eternal Scourge. Um, so see the little play of modern in the really bad colorless Eldorazi deck. It's the easiest to cast. Uh, it's really good with Food Chain. It's really good with Food Chain. It goes infinite with that. I mean, you can be cast from Exile if it becomes a target of a spell or ability. Exile it. And it's three colorless. It's the easiest it's to really, cast. It's really hard to answer. Um, yeah. But, again, didn't still not good enough. Didn't play still not quite good the, enough. Uh, really bad... Scred Red deck. Yes. <laughs> it's Scred like, oh, Red. exile a card with Chandra. Deal two to you. Cast it. Yeah. Although I saw that same guy exile it with Chandra and pay three to cast it. Boop, 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 boop. Literally just, wow. I don't I don't know. That was real bad. Yeah. I mean, that's that card's cute. That's about all it it's is. Very it's very cute. It's good in food chain. Nothing. Not really good anywhere else. But is food chain. It's also really good. cute with, uh, what's the land? Oh, no. What's the, no. Serum Powder. Where you can take a free mulligan. It's really cute with that. If oh, you, whoa. If you take a free mulligan, exile it, and you, then you, you didn't mulligan. So that you didn't even get mulligan. Your character's bad. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, no, it, that's it, cool. It, it, has it has now been bumped up from honorable mention to prime honorable mention. Yes, it is. It is. It has a lot of cool interactions. It's bad, though. Not a lot of good interactions. Yes, it has a lot of cool ones, though, which is what we like. Uh, uh, Janara Asura of War is our three, next three one. For Bant. Mm hmm. Um, it's got flying. It's got flying. And pay one and a white colon. Yep. Put a plus one counter on it. Yep. This card seems, <laughs> this card seems it really seems good. It seems like a beating. I mean, it was, it's legendary. We looked it up. It saw a little bit of standard play. I mean, it was can only be like one or two of in the, the Bant slash Dark Bant days of old <laughs> with your Noble Hierarchs. We never played in this format, so we can't actually. It's tough to. But I would like to go turn one Noble Hierarch, turn two this, turn three Rafik. I would like to do that. That is something I'm interested in. <laughs> that is that is a cool format. That standard just seems so insane. Yeah, it seemed really strong. Like, we never really I never really thought about how insane it's. Bloodbraid Elf, Future Leech is running around, Dauntless Escort. Welcome to Standard Boys. <laughs> Gadok Teague was in that. It was insane. I, I, eh, we wish it, I, 
again, it's tough for us to give a true how good this card was because we didn't play in the format. Right. So, but, but it seems. It did see play. It does seem cool. It's all over the play. Good. And uh, it has EDH. RLS. EDH value. Yeah, it is a legend. Honorable honorable mention goes to Glissa the Trader, who just wasn't as good as this card. So, get him out of here. Get him out of here. What's the last one? Uh, Bounding Crisis. Uh, it's just another infinite combo with Splinter Twin. The Keekster. But the reason this one didn't make the list is because why do you need this when you have this Eva Exit? You're pestering, right? Yeah, can't tap down lands. You can't tap down your opponent's lands. Dice to bolt. Yeah. I mean, Doesn't have flying. Has a lot of trouble. It's a good card. It's, it's fine. Not as good as the other two. Right. All right. We're breaking in now. All Top right. 10. Top 10. Number 10. Now, hold on. We're going to the standard. Hold the phone. This card banned in standard. Rampaging Ferocidon. Now, this card, I don't actually think this card is insanely good. I don't even think it's that. Like, one, I don't think it's even close to bannable in standard. But guess what? It's banned in standard. Wizards, Wizards thought. Wizards. Apparently, it was just like too much. But they didn't, like, couldn't they have just ban Hazaret? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they should have banned. I They're just don't turn think... the right. Maybe it's because it was in Ixalan. We don't really know. But I don't, hey, I don't know it's banned, banned in standard, and it's pretty good by itself. It is. It's three, a three, three for three, three, two in a red. It's got menace, and players can't gain life. And more things. Whenever a creature enters, it deals one to its control. It has so many. This card is definitely pushed, and it, it punishes. It punishes so, the hell out of you. So many. It reminds me of Eidolon, where it's like if you don't answer it, you're just dead. Yeah, I mean, also preventing from getting life. Uh, I did get to beat, oh, one of our viewers, Scott Puccio. He uh, he was losing, and the only play he had was to cast seven mana do literally nothing. Seven mana do literally nothing. What do you think? What card in standard? Would, in standard? With, with Rampaging for us on out would be... Approach the second zone. He literally cast seven mana do nothing because he had nothing else to do, and he just died. <laughs> Poor fella. <laughs> so, yeah. The card Rampaging was... Rampaging for us obviously number one. It's busted. There's nothing better than it. Except We've reached for, the pinnacle of three except for three. Nine more cards. Oh, yeah. Let's go up this list. What's the first of nine cards Ooh. better than Rampaging Crossing on? This one is only an EDH special. Or Legacy. But you it has one of the most powerful effects in Magic. And that's a wheel effect. And oh. it's Megas of the Wheel. It's a fortune. Megas of the Fortune? No, it's of the Wheel. <laughs> yeah, it's Megas of the Wheel. I didn't think so. Yeah. I like Megas of the Fortune, though. I feel like there could be so many cards. Magus of the Wheel. <laughs> Sorry, geez. Uh, he is a, obviously a 3-3. Three, three. For two and a red. Because everything on this list is a 3-3 three, three for two and a red. What does he wheel for? Uh, One red tap. One red? Oh, I thought it was two red. One red tap. Like, wheel like of one and a red. Like two mana. I mean, wheel effects in EDH are just insane. A lot of times they just can help you win the game, depending on if you're playing like some sort of storm deck. Yeah, it's balanced out because it doesn't have haste. But you can get around that. Yeah, a lot of... Lightning well, Greaves, anyone? Uh, mm. Anger in their graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grey Baby in your graveyard. A angry Baby. Everything's got haste. Why is an Angry Baby a 3-3 three, three for 3? I put that on this list. It's a 4-4 four, four for... It's a 2-2 two, two for 4. <laughs> That's never going to... We're not making that list. I don't know. It would go right... We could go the 1-1 the one, one for 2, 2-2 two, two for 4, 3-3 three, three for 6, 4-4 four, four for 8. There's so many of those. But We're not doing that. The effect is just Wheel of Fortune. It's extra mana and... But it's a, It's affordable. It's also very affordable. Wheel of Fortune is like $110. Yeah, it's, it's gone up wow. a crazy amount. Uh, Redo close wheel effects. He probably likes this card. He probably... Does he like it? I don't know. Does it go in the making, vintage decks? I'm literally making things You're up. just saying. He does love wheel effects. He does love wheel <laughs> and effects. And past that, it's all conjecture. All right. Number eight. All right. Is a rhino soldier. <laughs> one, green, white. How many? For a 3-3. Three, three. It's many Dauntless rhinos? Bodyguard. How, how many Dauntly Bodyguards are there? There's one. <laughs> I was gonna say how many how many rhino soldiers can you know off the top of your head? That's yeah, Lara Reborn. <laughs> that's that's your set for Rhino Soldiers. Yeah, that's probably it. Um one green, one white. Mm-hmm. Three three. Three three. Four three, really? Mm-hmm. On this list? Sacrifice it. Wow. Colon. Creatures you control getting indestructible. Ooh. This is really good. This is a it's a, a buttload of standard play, and it's still really good in creature decks in my in EDH. So this card is very reminiscent of a new card out that sees more points. You, you mean the new card is reminiscent of this? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, it kind of reminds me of Selfless Spirit. I wonder why they made it worse. Yeah. Selfless Spirit is so much better than this card. Duh. Uh, this card's really good. Um, obviously, as a 3-3 three, three for 3, its stats are... It's, it passes the vanilla test. Perfectly fine. With a strong effect to avoid board wipes, which mm -hmm. we're running around quite a bit back in its day in standard. I mean, they're always running around. I mean, how we got to do with five, five mana ones up? <sighs> Cleansing Nova. Give me four mana void wipes. No. no. I want them back. Quit it. They're not coming back. 
they, they should come back. Standards, hmm, standards sucked since five men, since four men aboard. What are they? Uh, maybe uh-huh. the standard sucks and they banned uh-huh. 25 cards in four sets. I don't know. Standards yeah. got some problems. Yeah, it's been bad for a while. All right. That was probably sweet, though. Yes. Uh, I had it in some of my old VDH decks. Um, yeah. Probably it, wouldn't it went include, alongside, I think, Doran. I just probably wouldn't include it anymore now because, you know, I mean, again, you have self spirit. I mean, turns out two on fire for one less man has much. It goes in all the same decks. So much stronger. Yeah. And it, it has yeah. to. It's and it goes, it goes in more decks because you don't need green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. So coming in number seven. An old Pop, standard. This, old has standard my, favorite. this is my favorite on the list. Not close. My favorite's coming up. Not even close. Yeah. This is my favorite. Battlebox All Star. Battlebox All Star. My favorite card from Standard. Dang. Boris Reckoner. I love this card. Why don't you tell us what it does? I mean, if you love it so much. Hybrid red, hy- white, hy- hybrid, hybrid Boros, hybrid Boros, hybrid Boros. Three, three for three, obviously. Um, Sounds good so far. Uh, you can pay a hybrid Boros to give it first strike. Mm-hmm. Whenever this creature is dealt damage, you may have it deal this much damage to any target. It is. It's not bad. It's so good. It was so good. I ran it. Uh, I wasn't very good when I when at this point in Magic. Right. That's why you love Boros Reckoner. I mean, the card was super good. No, the card's good. The card was super good. Infinite, I was, infinite tournament If results. you think I wasn't running it with Blastmass Act, oh, you were so wrong, good sir. I mean, that was oh. in the Aristocrats deck. Oh, I loved it. The I Aristocrats it. deck was sweet. Yeah, it was. Boros Reckoner, Lingering Souls, Blasphemous Act. Oof. I knew why can't was... we have standards like this? Why? Why can't we have nice that things, was... Wizards? There was so many cool th- things to do back in old standards. And, like, now, what are we playing right now? What are the decks in standard? Red, you black. Want a f- Turbo Fog is a deck in standard. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, we look at these cool old standards that we're talking about right now. Right, yeah. We could do all these cool things. You're right, playing they, Lingering Souls. They, you're playing they gave, you, they gave you strong cards like Noble Hierarch. And they were, you know, like, you had Blood Braids and Nobles. You could just have strong Blasphemous cards. And they didn't have to. They didn't have to accidentally print strong cards or purposely print strong cards like Fatal and then, Push. And then like to sell sets. Yeah, cards just became good because they were good. Mm-hmm. They made them. They were good. So and, like Fatal Push, well, give us more Fatal Pushes is what you're saying. I, but Fatal Push was forced. To be fair, well, I'm sick of. I would rather have Fatal like, Pushes. You're right. I'm sick of sets like Battle for Zendikar having three cards in them. It's like oh, there's Gideon and there's there's Ulamog. And like yeah. nothing else. I, it's so. I just. And it's like the ones we be... pushed, and then there's everything else which sucks. Yeah, exactly. It's super. I would like more fatal push, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I want it's like more your standard. Like just, your push. standard has 25 cards in it, and that's like, what deck do you want to make with those 25 cards? Yeah. I mean, I want these old standards back where you can build so many cool decks. We like, thought, say, we like Thoughtseize. I'm not saying. I like Thoughtseize in standard. Oh, people complain that it made Mono Black too good, but Mono Black was probably just. It was. I mean, oh, Pack Rat, Gray Merchant. Huh, there was some problems. Let's talk about how bad Devotion was built in those sets. Ugh. You could only play Devotion because of Ravnica, not because of Theros, because there's no fucking. Like Spectre. That's no, my favorite triple no black card. No synergy. No synergy. All right. Perfectly planned. Right. Regardless, Boris Arkin, it was sweet. Old standards, sweet. Uh, first Strike, sweet. First Strike, sweet. Uh, Blast was that sweet. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> we, we, got, got, we, we got on a rant there. Yes, oh, we're crap. ending the bottom half of our top 10. With, yes. You might have heard of this one. This one is in standard right Fairly now. Fairly recent. It's not banned. Yeah, it's not banned. It's in crappy standard right now. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin uh, Chain Whirler. Red, red, red. 3-3. Three, three. It also has first strike all the time. And when weird. it enters the battlefield, it does one to each creature your opponents control and each Planeswalker they control and each opponent. Mm-hmm. I mean, this card's so real, real good. good. It's making Land of Elves, like People are like, eh, I don't know if I want to play yeah, Land of Elves. Like, that's Elves, crazy. Which is always good in standard. It's having trouble in standard because of this card. Because it just dies to it, and then you just get 0 for 1, and it's mm-hmm. like, well, that feels terrible. They just killed my creature for free, and they got their 3-3 three, three with first strike. It's, I mean, it, it's warp standard. It changes what is good. It's like the test. You know, you got to pass the Chain Whirler test. Yeah. There's a card out of Chain Whirler. Yeah, like Glincy Cypher doesn't see nearly as much play. Because, like, all right, turn two, I'll play my well, Glincy Cypher. And are, I mean, dead. like, card's really good, but it's people are more hesitant to sleeve up their cha- their Siphoners because they're like, I, I don't know. I'd rather just be the person killing Siphoners. Exactly. For free. Yeah. Cards. That's really hard. Yeah. To attack through, also. Yes, turns out. Like, if you have two of them, your opponent is not attacking. I mean, that was. It's just like Boros Reckoner in that sense, where it's like, you're not attacking into this card. No. Um, it's really I mean, hard. Boros Reckoner for different reasons. It's like, oh, I'll swing your 5 5 into Reckoner. It's like, I'll block, and then I'll kill your other 5 5 or something. <laughs> is there, like, Chain Wheeler, we capped it at 6 because it doesn't have any application anywhere else. 
No, um, it doesn't fit in the modern. It's just not. Good you're not enough. playing your three drops in your burn deck. Um, it's just not really happening unless that three drop is Sulfuric Vortex, which is not the format. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, so you know, Chain Weller, not, Chain Weller, not as strong as Sulfuric Vortex. We're learning things today. <laughs> I think this list is really enlightening. People. All right, number five, Brightling. This card might be way more powerful than we're thinking. It's so hard to judge because. It hasn't really found a home in Legacy. It's and good it in Death and Taxes. It doesn't really have a home anywhere else. Um, but even the Death and Taxes not really seen that much play. Right, we're just saying like that's kind of where we're seeing it. But if like, anywhere. The thing is, like, if this card was legal and moderate, it would be insane. It's so undeniably good. It's undeniably good. It's just... I, we said the name of it, Brightling. Yeah, it's a 3-3. Three, three, one, white, white. Pay white, it gains lifelink. Pay white, it gains vigilance. Pay white, return it to its owner's hand. And pay one colorless, not a white. Yep. Uh, it gets plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one. Uh, Two on a turn. It's curious. That's really good. That's a, the lot of, bolt. that's a lot of things. How big is that? Avoiding bolt? How big is it? It'd be a 2-4. <laughs> this true. Hmm? Card seems insanely strong. Super hard to judge. I mean... See if it finds a home. Yeah. I mean, it might not find a home in Lacey at the three mana slot. You, you I mean... Right. We're still putting it here. I mean, we put cards that have, like, super proven results above it, as you will see. Yeah, I mean, it might never find a home in Legacy because, like, if you're playing a three-drop creature, you know what it is? It's It has protection from your opponent, which is so fair. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just... True name's real good. I mean, it's just... It looks good. It probably is good. It's just... Well, we've seen might it, not we've have seen a home. It be camera, on camera be, like, insane. Yeah. It's not played at the most recent Pro Tour. Yeah, I mean... I don't know how much play did it see. I, I, I mean, I know it, I just saw it on camera, which like on in day two. So okay. it, it was so, doing, I mean, the cats were doing well with it at the, the pro. Tour. The card is good. The yeah. card is very good. Um, I hope to see more from this card because I yeah. really and the art's really sweet too. I really love this design. It's really cool. I like the art. The art, it's yeah, pink and purple. It is pink and purple. It's really cool. It is very cool. I like the art too. All right, look at that art. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. I'm kind of wearing like a, a similar USA. USA. Mana cost USA. red, white, blue. Manus Rider. Manus Rider. <laughs> this, this card is cost Jess Guy, cost America to cast. Uh, three, 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 flying vigilance haste. Mm -hmm. Now, all that's fine and dandy, but this card really has one word on it. Oh, wait. So it's a flying vigilance haste. So the Mantis has flying. Nope, and the can't. mantis is coming at you real quick, so it must be a mantis creature. That must be what is yeah, really must, good about it. It's right? actually not an insect, believe it or not. It's actually oh. one creature type. Mm. And that creature type is what brings us from probably not even close to hitting this list <laughs> to number four. Human. It's a human. If it's right in the human deck in modern, this is one of the one cards. Of the best that, clocks? Yes. It, Oof, this is Phantasm, which go to town. Sometimes you get to just go turn one, Noble Hierarch, and the turn Two. Two this, and you're just hitting four or four. That's already that's a five turn clock. And if you have a phantasm image or another one, you're just you've sped up the clock. I mean, oh yeah. This card can present a clock really and you present it fast. You have mind. to have the bolt or the whatever. You have to have the bolt, you have to have the push, you have to have something. You need to answer this right away. If you hit twice with it, it feels like the game's over. Yeah. The card is I'm gonna hit once is free because you can't always leave open a card is a kill spell for it. Bonkers sauce. In standard, it was the real deal. It didn't matter if it was a human in standard. That that's true. In oh, standard boy. it did not matter. Sanders this just, thing went to town. That Jess guy burned hit, deck pretty hit much. You, hit you for three, and then uh, they hit you for four with their Jess guy charm, and then you were dead. Then you're just like, okay, <laughs> all right. You died. You just died. The game was over. So it's funny to me that this card very specifically, <laughs> only on this list for the fact that it's a human, because it would not have it'd a home be, in It would be in the honorable mentions. The fact is this card was in modern for like two years. Yeah, no, it didn't have any home. And it had so no hard. home until hum Five Color Humans became a deck. With the printing of Freebooter and Unclaimed Territory. Unclaimed Territory. This is that's really that's when Five Color Humans took off. And now Manus Rider is just it's an all-star in modern. It's just I wouldn't say it's an all-star in modern. It's an all-star in humans. In humans in modern. But that card is an all-star in humans. Right, sure. So I mean it's one of the best cards in the deck. You pretty much never sideboard it out because it's so good. Mm -hmm. I feel like now we're really getting into like the ones we were talking about, like, yeah, no, this is actually a good card. Yeah, okay. So finally, we've hit, these are just good cards. They don't yeah, need... We're not in the, like, ooh, uh, Sprouting Thrynax, guys. It's real good. 3-3 three, three for 3. Well, yeah, we don't, yeah. We'll, we'll, no, you've heard of these. Vegas of the wheel, all right? Get it, all right? Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Number three, very powerful. 3-3 three, three for 3. One. That's debatable. What? Is that 3-3 three, three for 0? 
I mean, that's why this card is insane. It is a 3-3 three, three for 3. And it's cost 1, a black and a blue. Prize Amalgam. Prize Amalgam. <laughs> this card, absolutely a house in any dredge deck, yep. any graveyard deck that is recurring. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, if it entered from your graveyard, or you cast it from your graveyard, return prized amalgam from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped at the beginning of your answer. All right, we had to literally read that because it's one kind we, of a we know what it does. Everyone knows what it does. If if you returned a Narc Amoeba, yeah, or you returned your blood gas, yeah, then at the end step you get it back. That's what it does. That's what it does. That's, That's what it the does. text on it. Uh, that is basically the text on the card, but we literally had to read it because it has a. It needs to be worded obviously it's a correctly. Little, it's a little so, brick wally. Yeah, for the for the rules of, of magic, they obviously have to word this card correctly because otherwise That's, it's gonna be weird. Do we need to explain why they need to rule cards correctly? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but no. now you know. Okay. That's so why. this card is always free. It's a three three for nothing. Instantly insane in modern and sees play in legacy. You can see it on turn one if you, in your legacy deck. You can see or in your modern deck. Yep. Oh and, easy. Sure, in Legacy 2, I'm sure. I mean, yeah, it's just, the card is just so strong. It's coming out so quick. It's coming at you so fast. You get two of these and a Narc Amoeba, you have seven power on like turn one power. Oh, that can, you can easily do it. Exactly. I mean, you see, I mean it's actually saw play, I think. Um, it was in that stupid blue red zombies deck in uh, Standard, I think. Yeah, it was. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't very good. Not that we care, because it's way better in Modern Legacy. I mean, I mean it's, it's just insane in Modern Legacy. It, this. this Golgari Gates should have been on ban for a little bit, mm-hmm. but then the printing of this card in Cathartic Reunion just really they just kind of like dredged to the top. They made, him, they made him get rid of uh, and the innate too. Golgari Grave Troll again. I mean, this card's just insane. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're getting it for free every time. You're never. I never, have. I have seen a cast. My God. That being that said, brave soul probably did not win. He did not. <laughs> it's like where they had three with no blockers. <laughs> and, I mean, and like top. I don't know what that needs to yeah, happen. You're almost just never casting this card because you're getting it for free and you're getting it on turns one, two, three before it's even forever. I mean, it's resilient too. It just it, keeps coming back. It's just, yeah. You, I'll bolt it. Okay. Uh, sure. I don't care. It didn't cost me a card to get it out. Yeah, so it's, I mean, and then it just makes Dredge's clock so fast because it's like. Uh, Blood Gas was super strong and not but these have one and two power. You just add an extra power to that and these, another free card. Mm-hmm. It's just like the clock is insane with. Clock's real. I hate Amalgam. You hate it? I do because I hate. I, I, hate, hate, I, I hate, hate, hate Dredge. Okay, I hate Dredge. I don't hate. Amalgam's really cool. Don't I care. hate Dredge because Dredge isn't magic. Uh, I don't care because Prize Michael's in the deck. Get out of here. That's so mean. Hate on the Amalgam. All right. yeah. You can't hate on the number two because number two is awesome. Certified awesome. Certified G. G. Nerd's approval. It's awesome. He's a certified G. Otherwise, this placer. No G's in the name. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, three, three for three. Hmm. Two and a white. Devoid. One of the dumbest keyword oh, abilities ever printed. Definitely imagine. need to be a keyword. Super easy for new players to understand. <laughs> yeah, not confusing in any way. So it's colorless, but also its color identity is white. Yeah. <laughs> you can only go on white decks. <laughs> if that's not confusing enough, Let's, we don't know what it is. Oh, know what else is confusing? Diamond shapes Ooh, that are on your card. It's actually on here, yeah. Two and a diamond. A two colon. and a diamond. Uh, exile target creature, then return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. Now, I mean, this ability is so strong. Oh, boy. So many. The thing is, most of these kind of effects that you can pay for like this, we turn it on stop. Because you have effects like Mystic Snake. Because you have well, a f- well, name an effect that's like this. Uh, Miss Metal Mage. Yeah, there's like that, and there's like Dead Eye Navigator, and I can't really think. This is like a really unique. It's rare. You don't see this on creatures. Yeah, it's true. Especially not like reasonably costed ones. Like Miss Metal was a a two a one one for two, and Dead Eye is six mana. Yeah, I mean a lot of these effects return at the end. So there's a few that don't like uh, Dead Eye, but Dead Eye is like six mana and soul and bond. It's eight mana basically to do it once. Yeah, so I mean that costs a lot of mana. This this character is a three three for three that you can play in turn three. You get it out there quickly. And you can just start blinking the next turn if you have the colorless man. I mean, that bad, that bad drowsy deck in modern was really was really strong for a long time, and this card was one of the main reasons. Etron eventually just like became the Eldrazi. It deck. lets you blank your opponent's removal and force the removal spell at the displacer. It only yeah, can't if blink you itself. didn't have two displacers because mm-hmm. displacer can then start blinking itself. It, it helps blink a lot of removal. It had a lot of ETBs like Thought Not See or um, there's like that black white. Uh, Taxes ish list where you have like scholars and yep. stuff. I mean, it can also tap down your opponent's attackers. Stop blockers. Yeah. Yep. Prevent blockers if your creatures have trample. Like, I don't know, something like 
some sort of smasher of reality. I saw, some sort of five five for five. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was commentating at PPTQ and I saw somebody had Shalai and, and Eldrazi just placed her out. Mm -hmm. I was like, how are you winning? <laughs> what are you doing against that? The other person was playing Jun. I mean, Jun's not beating that ever. No. Damnation, maybe, but that's about it. <laughs> I don't even remember what happened, but that couldn't have gone well. I could. I mean, that's just insane. That's so <laughs> strong. If you're protecting your Eldrazi displacer, it's insanely strong. And I love. This card is also a house in EDH. Yes, it's so good. You get to put it into. It's, I would say it's a staple. I don't know if it's a staple necessarily. I don't know. It really you messes. To, it messes with everything. Depending on what kind of deck you're playing. Yeah. Um, it comes down to like it does have you a need little. You adjust your mana. You need to it. adjust your mana base specific for this card. So I don't know if it's a staple. I think it's very it is very good it's in EDH. Insane. But you just have to have. Cards if you haven't played, if you haven't played with it, you, I I think you could do it with no synergy, no blink synergy. It's still like it's going to be not as good because why would you have some? But with none, I think it's I mean, still really, really if you have a it's still really annoying. If you play EDH and you have zero ETB effects, <laughs> what are you playing? You might want to fix your deck. Yeah, I think you're, you're not I mean, you're you not need, playing green. There's no that's, way. that's for sure. What deck did you build? I can't even picture an EDH deck with, with zero none. ETBs unless you're playing like a storm deck. Maybe. Or if you're playing a get wrong, I want to win deck. Maybe something like that. If you're playing something yeah, maybe I guess hyper, if you're playing like hyper competitive. Super competitive, maybe. But even that. I don't know, doesn't that deck just have Eternal Witness in it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, even that. Yeah. Anyway, it's just in every deck. Every deck's going to have something. Yeah. And you can even team up with your opponents. It's like, I'll flicker your Acidic Slime if you kill this thing that we, we can't get rid of. Uh, I oh, had, yeah. I had story time, baby. <laughs> I had an opponent Cataclysm me. Mm -hmm. And I was playing with, with my boyfriend. And he. Flickered my... Not me, by the way. Not PC. Playing with Single. my... Single. Uh, forever. Um, playing... He flickered my ooze to continually blow up everything he had. Yeah, the Acidic Because slime. he was so mad that we got Cataclysm that he was just... He's like, I'll flicker your I got to do is blow... Yep, flicker yeah. Acidic Slime. Flicker Acidic Slime. Yep, we'll just keep... <laughs> sure, I'll just kill all your stuff. Sure. And I think, needless to say, that man lost the game. <laughs> that man did not win. <laughs> yeah, you're not winning when you're being a dickhead. Don't play Catechism for no reason. EDH Etiquette will be on that soon. Oh, my God. Can't wait to <laughs> All right. video. Number one. This isn't even close. It, not I even. I don't know. Like, this take card, a second to think about what it could be because it's not close. It's not close. This card is not comparable to the rest of this list. This it's card one of the best creatures. is banned in EDH. This card is... A house and legacy? A house and legacy, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's not. like. But the fact is, if this card was in modern, it would be a house in modern. Oh, my. Oof, like, so and they can never put a card like this in... Standard. Right. We have Leovold, Emissary of Trust. Kind of thing. There's a lot of words. There's a lot of words on this card. A lot. One, the other abandon the EDH for the fact that uh, if an opponent would draw a card, they don't. Right. Addition to like, yeah, besides you can, their draw step. You can always draw, you draw your draw step, and if they would draw an additional card that wasn't their draw step, they skip. They skip it? Or yeah. do you draw it? No, no you're thinking of Notion. That's Notion. They just skip it. They just and then skip whenever. It. A permanent you control becomes a target of a, a spell or ability. You draw a card. I think whenever you get wastelanded, draw a card. They can't get Leovold unless you draw a card. Uh, they want to flicker your guy with all the rises. Places draw a card. I don't know what format that is. <laughs> That's EDH. That's EDH. Well, it was. Oh, well, it was. Yeah. Um, yeah he had to get banned is, because of the like. Oh, I'll play this and then I'll play Teferi's Puzzle Box. I mean, every was every no single fun. It was any, so good. It was just Leovold wheel effect. You win. Yeah, you just I mean, win. you just win every single time. And the fact was, he could be your commander. And there are plenty he's of only, blue. He's only three. Seltai are the best colors in EDH. Yeah, and there's plenty of blue wheel effects in. Yeah, and colorless wheel effects. There's yeah. no shortage. Yeah, there's just no shortage of wheel effects. So the deck built itself, and it was stupid. Nobody, Nobody wanted to play against it. And you also get you have tutors with this man. So it's like because yep. you're in black, so you get all the tutors. You have tutors with this man. <laughs> this man gives you tutors. <laughs> he's insane. Somebody stop him. I'm glad he's just like it. shake Absolutely. my hand. Yeah, he's, no, this is shake like my the good hand. Game, the good game extension. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, he he's also not... on expropriate, which is also a piece of shit. <laughs> ban expropriate. They can ban it. I don't know. Right. That was um, just a hot take. <laughs> hot take. <laughs> Doing hot takes over This here. is just a regular take. Yes, it is. Uh, yep, Leovold is far and away. Mm -hmm. So number two is otherwise this placer. Which is this, great. Which is a great card, but it's not close. This card, oh my god, Leovold as a creature is like a 10 out of 10. Basically. He, he's he's an also Like, otherwise placer might be like an 8. Mm -hmm. It's a very good card. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's really good, but it's like... It checks the boxes, but this like double checks the boxes. Leovold's mm. just... Insane. He lets you do everything. He shuts down your opponent from doing what they want. And if you're killing, the worst is 
He's never a one for one. Unless unless wow. they have a Liliana. <laughs> oh no, wait, that's how it's you. I think you draw for that. Whatever you or a permanent you control. So it Liliana doesn't do it. You have to play Wow. Uh, is, so is there Innocent Blood? Innocent Blood. That's a one for one. <laughs> that's a innocent one is a what? one for one. If, if you, you have, have no creatures, creatures. that is no one for one. You can't it, one for one this man. <laughs> <laughs> this card is so stupid. Comment comment below with any way you can one for one yeah. this man besides wrath effects. Yeah, wrath effects. That's like assuming even if it's know. a wrath effect, you're paying like three or four mana a one for one. Yeah. We really, yeah, no, without counting Wrath Effects, not counting anything that just wipes all creatures. Yeah. What do we got? We got, we can, uh, no, the targets. <laughs> targets. You, you need like Innocent Blood. I was going to do Dead to, Drop, but Dead Drop targets. You can't <laughs> even get them like that. But the best one mana removal spell ever printed, Dead Drop. Yeah. Definitely the best uh, one. Wow. Let's not talk about that too long. Yeah, well, As in right now, we're done. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> anything, any other thoughts I on the like, I don't know. The world is so insane. I don't even know. I just blowing keep... your mind right now. This is a card. We 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 brought this up. We haven't brought this up in our videos yet. There's like one of these cards where you think you know what it does. It does more than that. Yes. You I, keep I, I, reading. Yep. We literally we looked up this a... card a couple times. And we just totally forgot. It's when you're targeted too. Mm -hmm. So like I'll bolt you. Yeah, I'll draw. Okay. <laughs> That's I'll draw, and I have a question. Why are you bolting? I have a 3 3 in play. That's making me draw a card off your bolt. That opponent is they're not. Playing, they're playing burn. That's, that opponent is not intelligent. Well, they could be playing burn. They're an idiot. And you're a 3. No. You draw a card off Leovold, draw the counter spell. Uh, force will. They're playing burn. You force will burn. Burn spell. No, that costs life. You just daze it. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> force of will. Two more of those and you're done. <laughs> Two more. Two more forces and you're done. Anyway, I think that, cap, that caps off our list. I really do want to see all the one-for-one -one cards. Um, oh, yeah, all of them. The huge I just, list. I just want to see the silly cards that like people are coming right. up with. Like, what, what, like there are cards that are one-for-one lists, obviously. There sure. obviously are a decent amount. Most of them aren't playable, but it's very funny to think about. Like, So Innocent Blood's one. If you don't control a creature, then it just one-for-one's it. So in terms of... Favorites. Your favorite was Boros Reckoner. Not close. I think my favorite is Displacer. It was really close with Drag Mangler. Drag Mangler didn't actually... even. Drag Mangler didn't even make honorable mentions. <sighs> I know. Is he sad about that? It's a severe injustice. <laughs> Card is the nuts. It doesn't belong on this list. It's better than Leovold. <laughs> There's your one for one. There are three. You just attack them with Drag Mangler. They're dead. They. They, they block. That's a one for one. Well, we might need to amend this list. I don't know. Drag Mingler's looking pretty good. It's scavenge. What you? I mean, all these, if you just block them with each other, they die for the most part. Except I, for Chain World and Boris Reckoner. So, wait, so... In, in, the, World, in combat, yeah, they all the, best, the best one is Boris Reckoner. I mean, right. that's not... Boris cool. Reckoner's pretty good. Brightling's, a, but Brightling's good, too. You know, I mean, Mantis is, Rider's the only one with flying. They all die to Anger of the Gods. I mean, except, that, they all die for Anger of the Gods except Brightling. Oh, let's do. Oh, yeah, we want to do this at the end. Cards that kill all these creatures. Yes, yes. Anger of the Gods is good. It's bad against Boris Reckoner and, and uh, Brightly. Yep. Uh, Toxic Deluge for three. Ooh. Uh, that and, also doesn't get There's your one for one with Leovold. I mean, yeah. How are you Toxic Delusion for three when there's a Brightling to play? <laughs> it's like, was, oh, sorry, I already paid three. I mean, I guess you can pump your guy. That was my fault. Yep. Uh, what else? What other I mean, there's not too many cards that hold specifically three drops. I mean, there's like Anger of the Gods. Abrupt is... Decay gets all these guys. Oh, yeah, Abrupt Decay. This is the last time Abrupt Decay will be able to kill anything on our lists. Yep, yes, it will. <laughs> this is the last time. EE -E on three. Once we get past five, I mean, Engineer Explosives. Brightling avoids most of the stuff. So. It really does. Uh, Although, I, the body, best... Bodyguard saves your also, whole team from close. Anger of the, the Gods. The best in combat is definitely Boros Reckoner. It's not close. But Rampage of Frost has Menace. Boros Reckoner is still better in combat. Oh, you're right. It's, it's hard to block, but... To... You're right. I can give a first strike. It's like I mean, just, right. I mean, displacing with open it mana like a, is it, better in combat. I guess <laughs> none of these creatures are ever attacking uh, in this world that we've yeah. in this world that we've created if, in a world of infinite mana. Yeah, infinite colorless diamond mana. <laughs> diamond mana. All right, all right. That's our list. Let us know what you think. Definitely Tell us all the cards. Know. Tell us all the cards below that one for one. Yes. And your favorite three three Leovold. for three. Yep. Oh, yeah. always tell us your favorite three three for three. Definitely. And if cards you wanna... that one for one Leovold. Put your list on the bottom if you wanna. If you wanna shake things up. We'll or compare. If you think Leo, I really. If you don't think Leovold's number one, I want to hear your opinion. This is like I can. There are most. We just can't fathom. 
I can see the world where like Mother Ruins is the number one. Sure. I can see the world where Scavenger Youth is the number one on our two twos. But I cannot see the world where Leovold is not number one on our three okay. twos for three. Okay. So I want to like, we'll, hear somebody. We'll take your opinions. I would love to hear someone's opinion on what's better. All right. Before we ramble too much. Thanks for watching. Like, yes. subscribe, comment. Share. Bell. Share. Don't ring, don't ring the bell. Ring the bell. Mm. Hit the bell. Okay, bye.